there are two more types in TypeScript, unknown and never. And these types are not used extensively, but it's good to know about them and what is their use. So in this lecture, we are going to learn about the unknown type. Let's understand what is an unknown type and when should we use it. So let's go ahead and let's create a variable. Let's call it input well. And here, let's set its type as any. Okay, so when we set the type of a variable as any, to that variable, we can assign any value. We can assign a number value. We can assign a string value. We can assign a Boolean value or an object, an array, any value. So here I'm going to assign an array. Okay, so this is any type. When we specify the type of a variable as any, we can assign any type of value in it. In the same way, if I change this input well data type from any to unknown, in that case also you will notice that when we set the data type of a variable as unknown, in that case also we can assign any value, any type of value to that variable. So for example, at this line we are assigning a numeric value to it. Then in the second line we are reassigning it with the string value. In the third line we are reassigning it with an array. So same thing is also happening for unknown data type also. And if we compile our code, you will see that we do not have any error. As you can see, we do not have any error. So the question is, if we can assign a value of any data type, when we use any type as well as unknown type, then what is the difference between unknown type and any type? Well, keep in mind that we use any type when we want to assign any type of value to a variable. That value can be of any data type. And we use unknown type when we don't know what type of data we are going to store in a variable. So this is very important. When we set the data type as any, that means we want to assign any type of value in that variable. But when we set the data type as unknown, that means at that point of time when we are creating that variable, we don't know what type of data we are going to store in that variable. That's why we are setting its type as unknown. Now, the difference between any type and unknown type is when we assign a variable to unknown type with a different data type. So for example, let's go ahead and let's create a variable. Let's call it uname for username. And this is going to be of type string. Okay. And here, let's say to this input well, we have assigned 100. Now, when we try to assign this uname with this input well, here we will get an error. If I hover over the error, it says the unknown is not assignable to type string okay but if i change this unknown to any we will not get any error as you can see that error is gone and that's because any type is the most flexible type in typescript and it disables any type checking so when we are assigning any type to a string type here the type checking is disabled by the typescript so we can assign a value of any type to any data type but that is not the case with unknown. The unknown type is a bit more restrictive than any. With a known type, first we need to check what type of value is currently assigned to it before assigning it to a variable. So for example, here we are trying to assign this unknown type to a string type. So here, before assigning it, we will check what is the data type of the value stored in that unknown type. So for that, we can use type of and we can use this type of one input well. So here we are going to check if it is equal to string, then only we are going to assign this input well to this unim variable. So if the value stored in this input well, if it is string, then only we will assign that value to this unim variable. This check we are doing before the assignment. Now currently in this input well, we are storing a numeric value. So the current type of this input value will be number, right? So in that case, this value will not be assigned to this uname. So let me go ahead and let me try to log the uname. And let's also try to log the type of this input well, the data type of the value stored in the input well. So initially to this string, I will assign 
maybe something okay let's save the changes let's compile this app.ts file and you'll see that when we are logging uname it is logging something the initial value which you have assigned to it and when we are logging the type of input well it is number so currently this input well is storing a numeric value now after that i'm going to assign this input well i'm going to reassign it with a string value so let's say hello world so now the latest value in this input well is a string value so now when this if condition will be checked at that time this input well data type will be of type string and in that case this u name will be assigned with the input well the value stored in this input well in this case hello world so let's again save the changes let's compile this app.ts file and now you see it is logging hello world so in this way we are still keeping our code type safe and we are doing the assignment only after checking if the type is compatible with the variable which we are assigning to it and therefore unknown is a better choice over any if you don't know what type of value you are going to store in a variable initially but you know what you want to do with that variable eventually of course we can set the type of a variable to a specific type for example this input well we can specify it as string number boolean anything but for that we need to know what type of data we are going to store in that variable in advance but sometimes we might not be sure what value a variable might store right at that time unknown is a better option than any because unknown data type provides type safety in our code this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day